All right, class. Here's a mass versus weight explanation. To begin talking about mass and weight, let's first remember that mass is not volume or weight. Mass is not volume. Okay, volume being the amount of space an object takes up, like a cube has volume, height, width, and depth. Mass is also not weight. Weight is the amount of force objects are being pulled on by gravity. And so mass is not a force. But mass is the amount of, or excuse me, the quantity of matter in an object, which we like to simplify and just say just the amount of stuff in an object. Let's compare mass and volume. Here we have a pillowcase and we have a, a battery taken out of a car. You can see the pillowcase has a larger volume, but the battery has more what mass. And you can tell because the battery would weigh more. So what is weight? Weight is the quantity of the gravitational pull on an object. The more mass, the more weight. It says here that weight is a vector quantity. Remember, vector meaning it has a size and direction. Okay, the the size of it is kind of like the amount. Okay, 500 pounds, 200 pounds, 500 newtons, 200 newtons. That's the amount. The direction for weight is always down towards the center of the Earth because weight is caused by the force due to gravity. Gravity is due to the mass of the Earth pulling on the mass of the object, yourself or whatever object, and it's always pointed down. We can calculate weight by simply doing mass times the acceleration of gravity. And we know that the acceleration of gravity is always negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And so uh, the, the equation I want you to write down is W equals mg, or weight equals mass times gravity. Um, sometimes we write weight as the force of gravity, Fg. So it really I should have written force of gravity uh, is similar to uh, weight. So you can use one of those two. So we have uh, some units that we use to measure uh, that we that we use to measure mass and weight. Mass is uh, we're going to be using this the SI unit of kilograms. Okay, you can abbreviate that as kg. Remember, kilo is a thousand, so a thousand grams, kilograms, and weight is measured in newtons in the SI unit of newtons. We could use pounds uh, in the imperial system, but we're going to stick with uh, SI system. One newton is equal to one kilogram times one meter per second squared. So in other words, if you had uh, a kilogram of mass and you pushed it with your hand and you caused it to accelerate at one meter per second squared, that would have equal to one newton of force. Um, one kilogram then of mass has a weight of 9.8 newtons. Now a common thing to talk about when you talk about weight versus mass is what happens when you go into outer space. Suppose you travel to another planet. Do you feel uh, heavier or lighter? Well that depends on the gravitational pull on the planet. When you go to another planet, your mass does not change your weight does. Remember weight is equal to mass times gravity. Your mass is constant but the gravity, the gravity here, it can change. So weight is equal to mass not changing but gravity changing on the different planets.